I think there are several fond memories at Haye. Um, I don't normally attach my feelings towards Haye and my love for it to events or to um, certain time points. It's more of just a general appreciation for uh, the different opportunities that are presented and things like that. One of my most um, vivid memories is when uh, I got one of the best ovations I got in my life after doing uh, the role of Passepartout in um, Around the World in 80 Days. I got to do a French guy speaking English in a French accent. So it was kind of different and the ovation after the play was something surreal and I really appreciate it till this day. It was grade 11 or grade 12 um, and me, Rami, Ibrahim thought it would be funny to go to school in a scuba diving uh, costume um, and spend our break in a small kiddie pool um, filled with water in that scuba diving costume. Okay, I think one of my fondest memories uh, being a student at Haye was working with the TEDx team. I think TEDx was one of the highlights of uh, my years here at Haye. Everything about the entire event was exciting. Everything from choosing a theme to brainstorming a theme. And then when the event actually happened, it was you know, one of the most exciting things I've done as a student. And it was great to see something we've talked about for so long and planned for so long actually come to life. Uh, I think uh, the great thing about Haye is that you have Lots of access to extracurricular activities uh, of different sorts, whether academics related or sports related. Uh, and you get to explore lots of different uh, areas to find what are your interests, what you'd like to pursue, for example, as a career. Uh, it also helps you build lots of um, skills that are useful later on in life, like communication skills, public speaking skills. And that, I think, um, really helped us um, that really helped us like, uh, compete at a high level uh, outside school, at the university level with other universities worldwide. We competed in the AFC uh, finals and we got first place and then we went to the regional finals in London and where we competed and then the following year we made it to the regional finals in Singapore where we, where we made it to the top six among 50 international teams so this was a big deal for us. And then even after that, we competed in a nationwide Hull Prize competition where it was localized with a one million Egyptian pound prize just for Egyptian universities. The most important thing about Haya, or at least for, for me, was, was building a certain base um, that allows um, our characters then moving forward to build on top of that base. Um, and, 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 and Haya, I think, spent, um, differently than any other school, spent a lot of um, time and effort uh, thinking about character education, um, and not just the academic part of, of school. I think Haya, out of a lot of places, has the benefit of uh, kind of promoting a very well-rounded lifestyle. We're not really pushed when it comes to academic exclu academics exclusively. We're not also directed when it comes to sports exclusively or extracurriculars exclusively. Instead, we're given an opportunity to kind of be very, very well-rounded to pursue different things and to pursue different interests. For Haye, the biggest pro we got or the biggest value that was kind of embedded in all of us was that we graduated with knowledge of ourselves what we want to do, it doesn't necessarily mean what we want to do as a master's, but what kind of values we hold high. A lot of self-awareness. You know, I remember walking into Gamma even like later on with marriage or kids. I always know what I want, and I think this was established by the things we did during school with our teachers, whether it was the character education, so the people who were big parts of our lives growing up. Actually, next year, something I'm looking forward to is that my son is coming to preschool. That's an exciting thing to see my son being part of Haya too. So we'll see how that goes. I think one of the very important core values tying it back to um, the paper that I published was um, perseverance. But I do want to tie in another core value, which is gratitude, I think is something that also plays a huge role, um, is that a lot of the times we think that we have to persevere and that we're somehow entitled to a certain outcome or we deserve success. But that's not really the case. Outcomes aren't in our hands. Um, and so in those moments when we feel like we deserved success but we didn't get it, 
that's when you need to be humbled by the situation, remove yourself from the situation, be grateful for the things that you have. Integrity, because every day you get tested for your morals and how much you stick to them. Gratitude, because I don't have a specific situation. However, whenever life gets tough, I always remember the lesson uh, Haya has taught me throughout the years, which is uh, that uh, happiness does not lead to gratitude. However, it's the other way around, is that gratitude leads to happiness. I guess respect. I feel like it's something that I've tried to live by no matter what since I graduated from Haya, like having respect for the people in front of me, having respect for the people around me, just like in general living by respecting the individual that's in front of me, irrespective of their age, uh, who they are and everything. And that's helped me with being able to interact with people. There were a lot of things about the school that we didn't like at the time, but so the cool thing is that the school would let you argue if you wanted to. So there was a lot of stuff in Haya that probably made it different than other schools in Oma. They let us sort of self-organize and they let us, you know, champion our own causes. So I would say we, we definitely learned perseverance, otherwise we would have never gotten what we wanted. And things would be so much worse for you guys. I was ready to give the kids the chance to think about where is their passion. It's just a thought that they can think about what I like. It's not that I want to work. Or what are the rules that I have in the community or from the family that I work with. I want to always be able to achieve that I can follow my passion. قابلت حد من الالومناي من من حياه كان بيخلص ماجستير بتاعه في كامبريدج يو كي اي واز ريلي امبرست لانه خلص الجامعه ما شاء الله بشكل سريع قوي وحاليا دلوقتي خلص ماجستير بتاعه وكان عنده ايديز ممتازه يعني في البيزنسز الجديده هو عايز يبنيها والحاجات دي وكده يعني مش مجرد فكره واحده لا كذا فكره وان هيز ريلي انتو جيتنج ثينجز دان يعني and just the combination of like academic balance and then also like morals and just like religious balance and everything is a balance that I personally feel like I gained well from Haya. So I would want that person to also have that opportunity. I think usually institutions like schools pride themselves in certain strengths, but they ignore their weaknesses because they compare them to other people and they say, well, we don't have these weaknesses, we have these strengths. Um, but I think one thing that I really love about Haya is that although they pride their, their, themselves in um, their strengths, which are many, they're also very aware of their weaknesses and I do believe that they're making very goal-oriented steps to try to minimize and overcome those weaknesses, which is something I think is very valuable, especially when it comes to education. The thing is, education changes really fast, right? So like, the way schools were as I mean isn't the way schools are now. But the thing about Haya is I feel like it has the capacity to kind of stay current, which I think is interesting because Haya now isn't the same as Haya when I was there, but it's still like at the top of its game. <laughs>